Okay, guys, this is what we changed. I'll tell you what was bad and what wasn't bad. The belt was bad, it had a crack in it. Bad. And every bolt snapped coming out of that one. Two came out of this one. Blades bad. Bolt aside of the pulleys. Good. It came with the nut, the spacer, the flat washer, the lock washer, grade 8 bolt with lock tight on it. So it everything but these bolts. And I thought it came with them. And I wound up running to the store to buy them. So the belt fit, it was the right size. Whether it's good, bad, I don't know. All I know is when you start it up, now it doesn't growl. And there it is. And we did the headlights too. Leap. Okay. Brakes on. one of these on the road test. To me that looks like a hitch ball cover, but it's not. I had all four of them on there when I got back. I was missing out. But I cannot find it for nothing. So it's good to go. Everything is good to go now. So what we do? Those headlights pop out with clips. The lenses were so yellowed you couldn't see the bulbs. Okay, so I figured I'd pop out the lights and clean the lenses. Not that I'm going to mow at night. The lenses pop off the lights. Okay, so I took the light assembly out, took the lens off. There was some dirt on the chrome. I went to wipe them glass cleaner and wiped the chrome right off. So we used the rust only in chrome paint. I have to tell you, it's silver. So, but it didn't work. So, we won't be using those now. The only other thing we have to do is this tiny seam that was a little leak. Okay, it's those air in it. But it's not full. Okay. And uh, this. You can see the old spray all over this thing. This right here. It's pushed down, but that means that's not. This is just. Literally tin. I could. Oh, AC's coming on. I could lift that with my hand. So instead of putting a ball on there, I could see it looks like they had a tongue on there. It's probably sticking out, and I would definitely bend it down. I'm just gonna get um a little receiver tube, dig through the stash, and put a plate on it. So it'll be a plate on the bottom. Bolt it on. Plate across the back. Bolt it through. And I'll probably just put big washes on the back. That'll be fine for what I'm doing. And that'll straighten this up, and it'll gusset it, too. If you really want to get creative, you can grab an upper bolt, any one of these, like up here, because this doesn't go to anything. And you can run a thing down. <coughs> that really stiffen it. But we'll see. I don't want to go overkill. i got to be able to move my trailer around. I want to pull my trailer out. I want to put the snow blow away and all sorts of stuff and be able to push it back. So... That was the other purpose of getting this thing. Um, other than that, it's actually a nice machine other than the overspray all over it. So, and uh, we got a race junior. How's that? No. Tires are good in the back. So. I think it'll be good. Got the battery. Okay guys, that's enough of this. I didn't show you me doing it because as soon as I started to work and I sliced my hand open, 
the camera went down. And then once I had to run to the store, I was like, it's just, it's just getting, starting to get dark now. And I wound up doing it right outside here on solar lists. So, but everything works good. That's all that matters. Trust me, we, we already mowed back here. So, I found out that number three is scalping to the dirt. But whatever. Okay guys, we're out of here.